Now, what if you have overestimates associated with hash and sort operations? If you have significant overestimates and it's hash and sort, your memory grants may be unnecessarily inflated. So you might be asking for more memory than you actually need. And upon execution, that memory doesn't get readjusted or given back in real time. That memory stays with that request. And what can happen then is if you have a lot of overestimates, then those concurrent requests will have to wait for inflated memory grants. If I'm asking for too much and everybody else is asking for too much, we might be waiting for memory that we don't even end up using. For example, if I think I have 10 million rows that will be for my sort operation, but really it's 50 rows, and I'm requesting that required memory based on that bad assumption, and everybody else's too, your concurrency can reduce. So when we're talking about concurrency, we're talking about a lot of requests being able to run at the same time without having to wait unnecessarily. And here's just a quick graphic from sys.dm exec query memory grants, and I'm showing one request, so that's row number two, that was granted its memory, so 94 meg, and then two requests that show null for granted memory because they're waiting for their turn to get their memory granted. So just an example of what you might see if you have a lot of requests fighting for that memory grant. This is the demo for overestimates and concurrency. And to begin with, in order to reproduce this issue faster, I'm going to set the max server memory to 500 megabytes on my system from the 4,000 original megabytes. And before I skew the statistics, which you've seen demos of in the previous demos, and know that it shouldn't be used for production purposes, but only for demonstrating underestimates and overestimates. Before I do that though, I wanna show you the query execution plan for a specific example query and I'm going to show you the include actual execution plan and while that's running I'm going to copy this while loop into three other windows so I have a while loop that's going to run the same query from three different sessions so I'm going to open up session number one two and three and before I execute them though I just want to show you the plan and then I'm going to update the statistics and show you the concurrency effects. So if I go to the execution plan, you'll see first of all that there's different hash match operations being used to join the tables. And if I execute or if I hover over the first root node, you'll see a memory grant request of 15,576K. So that is our original no tampering with the statistics memory grant amount. Now, I'm going to update the statistics to a very high number. And now we'll go ahead and kick off the other three windows. So here's window number one, window number two, and then let me go over to the window number three. And then let's go back to our original window because I can see what is being executed and what's been granted memory and what is waiting a memory through sys.dm exec query memory grants. And through that dynamic management view, I can see that right now, as of this point in time, we have two requests, session ID 55 and 54, which got their grant. So these are the times that they got their grant. Here's the requested grant amount. So you see it's higher than that 15,000 number. We're talking 93,000 now KB. And when the grant time is null, it means that that request is waiting to execute until it gets its granted amount, which again is in the 90s versus the 15s. Now, let me hop back here and I'll just show you how to pronounce the issue even further or to uh, further exacerbate it. And let's go ahead and open this up and I'll execute another window. Now we have four requests trying to execute that same query in a loop. And if I rerun the dynamic management view query, you'll see that really only two queries are getting through at a time for that specific memory grant size. Otherwise I have two requests that have null grant times and are waiting. So you're probably thinking, well, you know what, you inflated it to a really high number. This should be unusual. And the answer is no, it's not. Uh, you're going to see various examples in Module 4 about SKUs, and that SKU could be an overestimate or an underestimate. But with the overestimates, you can certainly see situations where too much memory is being requested, and then your concurrency suffers. So this is not uncommon, and although my method for inflating the amount was kind of a shortcut for doing that, it's not an uncommon thing to see, especially where you have a lot of hash and sort operations and larger tables. And we'll get more into that again in Module 4.